let's now look at the issue of the Banjul project. I mean, in 2018, if I'm right, your government launched that major roads rehabilitation in Banjul. I mean, but there were questions as to why there was no open bidding for this project, which was awarded to gay, gay construction. You know, open bidding and single sourcing, they are all legal, depending on how you do it. Banjul project, we wanted to do the Banjul project, but we are not having money at all to do the Banjul project, to be honest with you. And we are very ambitious. We wanted to do it. A Gambian contractor came up with the idea of the financing. That is Hadim Guy. I will thank him again for the support he gave us. He came with pre-financing. And when he came to my office, what he told me, it was too good to believe. I will pre-finance and, and I accept you to pay me in Dallas and you will not give me guarantee. Who will do that for you in this world? No guarantee, no sovereign guarantee. You pay me in Dallas and I pre-finance. I do it in five years, you pay me in ten years. This was too good to believe. When he told me that I said, Hadi, you have to be very, very serious. Do you think you can do this? You have the capacity to do that? He said, yes, he can do it. I said, no. I don't think you can do it. He said he can do it. I call my technicians. Ministry of Works, you know, uh, how to call it, finance, and others. Check the general. Just sit down with this man. Let's listen to him. The idea might be crazy, or you might think it's too good, he cannot do it. Maybe. So we had a discussion with him, and we see that this man is very serious. He said he's ready, he wants to do it. This is the way we enter into that process. But I think he has proven himself beyond any reasonable doubt. And I think every reasonable Gambian knows very well that this is a very important project. It's a very, very good project. Indeed, like you said, it's a very important project. But do you think uh, the process was rightly done? It was right. That's what I'm telling you. Whether it is tender, it's single source, the law accepts all these things. The process that was done was correct. It was legal. Because our, our, our Ministry of Justice, look at it. We don't do things that Ministry of Justice won't look at. Every small thing. It have to go to the justice ministry. Every small agreement, every small thing. And it passed through those processes all. Today now our partners are working with us in the Banyan project. First time they said no. But Why? later they accepted. Why? Huh? Why we were able to no? convince them that it is justifiable. Gambia needs this project. And the process was legal. And what we, what we were offered was too good to say no. Wow. In governance, people will be talking. But I know the project is a good project. And the project has made a big impact in the life of the Banjulians. And it has changed the image of the Banjul, the Gambia itself. When the Germans came, the recent, when they came to visit me, they said, oh, we have visited many capitals. But when we came to a capital, it's very nice. You see, it well. it's very, very nice. Because they have seen independent drive. But if it was the first time, they say, oh, <laughs> I don't think these people are serious. <laughs> so you see.